Whether you are moving to a different location or visiting a new area, it can be really difficult to plan a route and can take the fun out of riding. However, we want to show you that discovering new roads in new locations can keep your riding interesting and fun. So, here are some useful tips to get you out on those fresh roads. There are loads of ways to use technology to find a route in the area you want to ride in. A quick search on Kamut and it'll pull up loads of routes that people have ridden on before. Quickly, you'll be able to see photos of the main highlights of the ride and also you'll be able to find information about the key points that you must look out for. You'll also be able to view the whole ride in map view and also download the GPS file of the ride so that you can view it on your head unit. Decide first what kind of ride you want. Is it a hilly ride, a flat ride, or a mixture of both? You also need to decide what kind of surface you want to be riding on. Is it on the road? Is it on gravel, single track, or a designated cycle path? Research the area for country style lanes, which are normally quieter and make for a more enjoyable ride. The last thing you want when you're new to an area is to fall onto busy main roads, which are full of traffic and can make for a bit of a stressful ride, really. Mm. On Commute, if you click on the touring option rather than the road option, it'll automatically put you on quieter roads. New to the area and you want to find those must ride bucket list roads that are going to be the absolute highlight of your ride, that's all you have to do is search for segments that have been named and ridden, they'll be the local favourites. Yeah, and on those highlighted segments, you'll find some detailed notes about that specific point on the ride. So, you know you have the right bike for the job, and you're not going to ride down a steep bit of single track on your roadie, which, of course, is not stopping you. Don't do That's that. That's what you want to do. Ooh. Try to see some photos of your ride in advance to get a real sense of what that loop might look like, or at least try to see the highlights of that ride. Now you can use Street View or photos uploaded online to do this, but don't use it as gospel. Try to use your common sense as well. Don't ride up a closed road just because you've seen a photo of it online, because, well, that might get you into trouble. Yeah. You may think you've chosen a nice, quiet road, but in fact, that road could have traffic lights every 100 metres and could be very residential. Real photos can help you give an idea if the ride is rideable or not. Spend time researching an area before you go planning your route. If you are new to that area, you might have a limited knowledge of where is best to ride. And if you are going for an extended period of time, well, you might want to consider buying a guidebook on the a area. A guidebook? Yeah, guide... right, Grandad. Grandad? Guidebooks are a brilliant resource to help you find those hidden gems which will really make that ride that little bit extra special. Okay, fair enough. Before you get to that route planning stage, you might want to have a search on social media or just on the web to find if there's anything on the route that you want to include on your ride. Grandad. If you are planning and creating a route with a friend, make sure you share it with them so that they can cast their eye over it and make any changes if need be. If you all have the ability to edit the route, it'll save any discussion about what is a good direction to go in, what isn't, what is a good turn in, and meaning less time stood around discussing, more time riding. Yeah, definitely. For example, Manon has just shared me this route, and I'll tell you what, Manon, there's no way I'm doing that section. What? Why? I'm changing this bit. Well, we've included a velodrome in it. That's you can ride the velodrome. It's just running circles. It's easy. Last time that happened, it did not end well. Go on, share the story. Another time, maybe. Don't forget to check the weather and daylight hours of the route you're planning. You might be new to the area and unfamiliar with when the sun sets, or there might be a section on your route that gets particularly cold. Yeah, I remember when I used to train in Nice in France. And in the winter, there'd be this one valley road behind the mountain that would just never see the sun. And as a result, it would be absolutely freezing and we'd avoid it at all costs. So if you want to avoid this happening to you when you're riding in a new area, why not try using the Komoot weather forecasting function, which will give you specific weather forecasting at certain points on your ride. So you know, for example, if you're about to ride into a freezing cold valley, and this is a huge help, especially when you're new to an area. 
Hate getting cold on the bike. Oh, cold hands. The worst. Include points of interest on your ride. Being in a new location is a great excuse to get out and explore. And there's no better way to explore and find your bearings than by bike. Yeah, and use online tools to find those points of interest. Things like famous landmarks, maybe a lake or a historical site and fax them into your ride and build your route around them. For example, we've chosen the glorious Cheddar Gorge here in the southwest of England for our ride today. Beautiful. One great tip is to plan a coffee stop on your route. Have a search around for popular cafes or even cycling cafes. So you can either start your ride there or end your ride there and get a good brew in. Yeah, and you might even bump into other cyclists who are local to the area who might be able to point you in those must-see roads or even point you in the direction of some great group rides to join. And a good cycling cafe will also really be able to give you that local knowledge on those routes that you might not be able to find in the guidebooks. Make sure there's good take there too. Oh yeah, that's a definite. Yeah. Okay, this final point, I'm gonna contradict myself massively and say after all that careful route planning, don't be afraid of getting lost. If you're out on your bike and you see an interesting turn it, take it and see where it takes you. You never know, it might take you somewhere amazing. Connor, that's not what I meant. No, no, not that, not that turn in. Get out that field now, come on. Watch the molehills. Man on me, it wasn't a good idea. Oh. So those are our top tips for planning your route in a new location. But let us know in the comment section below if you have any advice for anyone on how to pick a really great route on routes you've never been on before. And if you did enjoy this video, please give us a big thumbs up. So we're going to go off and explore a new route yeah, now, man. Yeah, we're going to go on an adventure. So, let's go. Thanks for watching, everyone.